Hey guys, it is your girl Nash. Thank you for being here for another video today. Please do me a favor and go ahead right now, click the like and subscribe button because you can really support my channel that way. It really helps me out. Um, I'm so happy for you guys to be here. This is where we talk about life, living, learning with Nashua, my crazy, wacky life. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of coming off the corona, so I'm sorry that I sound a little um, sniffly. Um, I want to talk about Bethany Frankel. So she recently <clears throat> has come out again talking about Meghan Markle. What is it about Meghan Markle that literally just has people so butthurt? I, I, I would really, really like to know. Um, in another video that I'm going to post soon, I'm going to talk about Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie and sort of how white privilege, you know, kind of played a role in that. I feel like race is for many people who even label themselves as Democrats or Lib Dem or Labor or whatever it is, can still have biases. You know, Bethany Frankel is a person who considers herself Democrat and she considers herself, um someone who is a promoter of women you know there was this whole thing on the show where she was accusing someone else of not supporting women but she herself you know with her brand skinny girl you know she was always about it you know it was the product placement in a quite a lot of real housewife shows uh real housewife in new york shows at that point but when it came to supporting ramona's business you know she was a little bit tight-lipped um there's the interview that she did with kenya moore where she's yeah and she, she actually has has gone in several places actually talking about how the real housewives of atlanta is most popular because it's ghetto because people are about to rip people's weaves out when all of the women, black women, white women included from the Real Housewives franchises, pretty much wear weaves, you know, but she doesn't mention that. Um, I just, I feel like when Bethany Frankel, before I get into what I think about what she says about Meghan Markle, I feel like when she entered into the scene on the Real Housewives, I was really, really excited about her. I was really proud of her. I thought that she was like, mega funny like super funny and not like a trying too hard funny it was like oh no I actually am um funny like I'm naturally funny and so it's okay well flash forward and now I feel like oh, I can't fix this dress it's like asymmetrical and you know and it's just like which way do you want to go boo <laughs> But, you know, like, I feel like, basically, she, um, she, she essentially really rubbed me the right way in those beginning years because she, she had this air of independence about her. She had this air of, um, sort of being self-made, you know, and you could see that she had a lot of childhood trauma. She, you could see that she had a lot of traumatic things happen within her family that she basically transformed into success for herself. So those are the good things that I can say about her. But um, when she came back, when she came back for the second time, it was like something had shifted in Bethany. I don't know what it is, you know, but it just seemed like she was less, supportive of the girlfriends on the real housewives seems like she was much more about her you know even though she was independent from the very beginning she always opened herself up to be there for others you know and um the second time she came around for a the, for a period she just was like a bag of tears you know she just like started crying at the drop of a dime i know she was going through a divorce so it makes sense but it seemed like after all that you know after all that raw emotion she just hardened, you know, like I look at her now and her whole aura just doesn't even read the same, you know, I, and I'm not going to comment on plastic surgery or anything like that because I'm really not touching on that. I'm really touching on OG 
Bethany Frankel, you know, can we get her back? Can we get her back? You know, right now, the way that she is tearing down Megan in a, in a huge way is similar to the way that she attacked Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I think it's an unconscious bias. Yes, I said unconscious bias because racism and unconscious bias go hand in hand. And there is a reason that Prince Harry said that. I don't think that he was trying to replace racism you know the word racism with unconscious bias i think he was just speaking on that there was an unconscious bias um i think that to label real housewives atlanta as the violent one even though i do get it you know they are wild on the real housewives of atlanta especially during the nene leaks days but um you have to understand nene's background just like we understand bethany frankel's background and you have to understand the infrastructure of the city of Atlanta. I will say one thing that I really thought that Bravo did not do very well was represent the demographics of Atlanta very well. Because they just made all of the, the Real Housewives black. You know, in the beginning there was one white one who's Kim Zolciak. And eventually she left. I mean, it was like, you know... Put a couple of them, of them in there. Put a few of them in there. Throw an Asian chicken in there. Throw a Hispanic trick. There's a large Hispanic community in Atlanta. You know, it's just like, um, yeah. And, and on the one hand, I'm happy because it gave some representation to black people, especially black women. But on the other hand, it's like, I don't even think that it showed a balanced view of Atlanta you know as someone who went to very many affluent schools in Atlanta and and um essentially mixed circles with the children of people like these people to university you know the university that I went to in Atlanta was also a big mixture of people from different backgrounds different socioeconomic classes lots of them being from very affluent families Lots of them not being black. So, um, but you know what? I'm going to make a whole nother video about Bravo because as much as I love the Real Housewives franchise, um, I think uh, Bravo and both Andy Cohen and Bravo can be problematic. And I think that the behavior that they condone sometimes from some of the housewives, they don't necessarily condone from the other ones. So um, I think that Bethany Frankel is coming into this with an unconscious bias. And I think that maybe if she were to actually listen to Megan, you know, I don't know if she's watched the Live to Lead documentary. I don't know if she's watched the Harry and Megan documentary. I don't know if she's read Spare. Um, but that is one easy accessible way that she can have the chance to um, sort of hear what Megan wants to say herself. Instead of just parroting what the Sky News is and the Fox News is and Sky Media and Piers Morgan and uh, Lorraine and all of these people who basically are a part of the smear campaign against Meghan uh, want people to believe. Um, <clears throat> I think that Bethany has a view on this whole situation. <clears throat> That sadly, a lot of Caucasian people have on this situation. Because, yeah, they're sprinkled throughout here, there, here and there. <clears throat> Black people who are trashing Megan for being a liar and a narcissist. Like all of the UK tabloids would love to lead you to believe. But, um, for the most part, from what I've seen, Commonwealth people, African American people, Black Brits, um, they don't really have the same type of problems with Megan. I wonder why that is. Hmm. And then, you know, taking race aside, and putting into age, <laughs> I wonder why 
older people have a problem with Megan and Harry and less younger people. I, why is that? Could it be because of unconscious bias? Okay, so let's think about this. Bethany Frankel. And like I said, we'll knock her. She is a hugely successful woman. Proud of her. Good job. Girl power. But don't you see that you trashing Megan, bringing her down just to stay relevant, is so detrimental. It makes you look like you don't support women. We know that you don't support women. Th th this right here is the proof that you don't support women. Let me just see here. So Megan is radiant. She's beautiful. She is so smart, so intelligent. Everyone who's ever worked with her, except for the people in the palace, hmm. So the people she's volunteered with, the organization she's volunteered with, uh, the people who have worked with her on set, they all have great things to say about Megan. But the people in the palace said that she bullied them. Okay, 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 got it. So, um, let's see. You have the people who have worked with Megan and the organization she's volunteered with, those people like her, and the people in the palace don't. And then you have pretty much a consensus of the majority of young people are at least okay with Megan or, you know, not trashing her every move, um, while older people, uh, like the older Karens who have jumped on to the smear hate campaign bandwagon with Bethany Frankel and Samantha Markle, um, they all hate her. So let me think, okay, so we got that, and then black people, regardless of being African American or black Brits or African, they for the most part support Megan, but a lot of white people don't. Do, do you see what I'm getting to here, guys? Do you see what I'm getting to? Like, it is absolutely insane that in 2023, we have to be having these conversations. Like, you hate her because she's biracial. You hate her because you aren't her. You hate her because she's a princess and you are not. You hate her because she got to get away. She, she got her man and she got away. She's still alive. She's thriving. And she's doing good to help this, this world that is so suffering badly. You hate her for that? No. We hate her because, what did Bethany Frankel say in that video? She said, um, she's a terrible businesswoman. Why? Why is she a terrible businesswoman? I, yeah. Can you elaborate on that? And, and, and every time that I hear these, these very just flat accusations towards Megan, she's a bad businesswoman. She's a narcissist. She lies. Um, she's vindictive. She's controlling Harry. I never, ever get any solid proof for these. So, Bethany Frankel, if there is some miracle that you are listening to this video on my small little growing channel. Can you please tell us why she's such a bad businesswoman? I, I would really like to know because I don't see that. Um, let's just go through some of Megan's accomplishments. So when she was 11, she advocated to have both men and women represented in a video, in a commercial, where they were saying only women need to wash dishes. So she was basically into social justice and advocacy from a very young age. Um, let's see, she has traveled and donated to charities, participated in charities long before she even entered into the royal family. Um, everybody, as we said, on her sets, you know, people like to say that she's a failed actress, but I don't see someone being on one of the most popular shows of this day and age being a failed actress, but okay. Everybody on her set said that she was a lovely person to be around. Um, in spite of the constant negative press that they get, full of inflated lies, 
they don't retaliate. Their documentary spoke less about the the corruption of the royal family, which we know exists, and we know they probably have more to tell, and it spoke more about their love story. Us over here in Sussex Squad, we are holding, holding them in our hypothetical arms with so much love and support because what the world is doing to these two people is not right. Bethany Frankel should know that. This is not right. But you know what? We know that Bethany wasn't raised right. We know that. We know she doesn't have a good relationship with her parents. We know that. Okay? So it, it, it doesn't really surprise me because she didn't have that foundation of love. Now, um, I will say that Megan's mom, I think, really is the one who imparted that sweet spirit in her. I think her dad is maybe a nice person sometimes, but I think he's got toxic written all over him, and so does his, the other side of her family, um, excluding her nieces. Her nieces seem pre pretty much innocent in all this. But, uh, yes, I, mm, I, 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 I don't see, you know, I, I speak in another video about how my upbringing, I feel like my parents kind of really instilling discipline in us, but also instilling faith, you know, um, sticking to what we do, you know, like, if, it's like my husband, his parents did not have this boy <laughs> focus and stick to anything you know and I, I I love him and he's got a successful career you know so he you can clearly see that he's found that discipline on his own you can definitely tell the difference of where you were raised in a family to say yes sir yes ma'am all the time um no dessert before you do your dog on homework compared to oh yeah whatever just run wild um, this speaks to this negativity we live in today. It's opened a can of worms and people with unconscious bias hate it. It's like when you shine a light on a bunch of cockroaches, they're like, ah! <laughs> guys, stop being so damn hateful. That's really all it comes down to. Is it really that hard? That's it. That's all you got to do. Stop being so hateful. Okay, that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Just stop being so hateful. So, we're going to leave it there. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think about Bethany Frankel? Do you think that she's changed? Do you think she's the same person from before, you know, when she first joined the Real Housewives of New York? What do you think about her comments about Meghan Markle? Um, I'm going to come back to you guys with another video very soon about my thoughts about Samantha Markle and this silly, silly deposition. Good Lord, Harry, Megan, please bring your security detail. If you can appeal to the local law enforcement to block off the street during that trial, please do because there are some crazies out there. Samantha Markle gives me very, very much like vibes of that lady who killed um, um, Selena, Selena Quintanilla. Like uh, somebody said that and I'm just like, I completely agree. Please, please, please. Like... She seems unstable, Samantha Marco. She, she, she got crazy eyes. She got the crazy eyes. So, so please, 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 please. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't already, I do invite you to please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, you can also hit the bell, and that way you'll get notifications whenever I post a video. Um, more coming soon. Wishing you guys much love. Stay safe out there, and see you in the next one. Bye.